today we will talk about rational behind jalaukao charana leech therapy myself dr shubhada vi vice principal and professor department of shalya tantra enapoya ayurveda medical college mangalore specific learning objective after this session the learner should define jalaukao charana and explain the properties of jalauka should interpret purva karma pradhana karma and paschat karma of jalaukao charana and apply and analyze jalaukao charana as per indications rakta mokshana is one of the panchashodhana procedure adopted in ayurveda that is letting out of blood painlessly it has two vague classifications one is shastra kruta a shastra kruta shastra kruta refers to instru using instruments the blood is let out a shastra kruta without using the instrument the blood is let out in shastra kruta prachanna that is uh, puncturing and siraveda that is vena section a shastra kruta jalauka that is leech therapy today what we are discussing that one Jalauka Vacharana, an effective mode of bloodletting in clinical practice. It is a panchashodhana procedure and where the vitiated doshas are let out by means of blood. It is a subtype of rakta mokshana where pitta afflicted conditions we can apply Jalauka Vacharana. Jalaukas are both savisha that is poisonous and nirvisha non-poisonous in types. So, the medical person or a botanist can identify the non-poisonous varieties of Jaloka and used for the therapeutic indications. Jaloka Charana is indicated in neither superficial nor deep avastha of a disease that is avagadha and gambhira doshas of a disease. One Jaloka can suck blood from one place that is a distined place for example if the Mm, palm is having some problem we have applied jalauka so it can include the vitiated doshas from one hasta pramana and it can suck about approximately 10 to 50 ml of blood so as per the disease how much it is affected we can apply as many as jalaukas we can put that is three to four jalaukas also can be put at a time so source of jalauka as classics defines shita divasa madhura jalauka vari sambhava tasmat pittopa srishtetu hita satu avasechane that means jalaukas reside in their ultimate and absolute abode water they always there in the water so they possesses the qualities like madhura shita and pittahara so the pitta inflicted conditions Jaloka is a very good answer. Jalokas are procured through fresh water reservoirs and they are stored in the containers like aquarium uh, st uh, bottles and they are stored there with oxygenation all supplies. The water should be changed every third day like that they are uh, cultivated. Properties of a medicinal leech has hirudin, eglin, hyaluronidase, collagenase and many other proteinase inhibitors it has. Saliva of a medicinal leech has proved to contain anticoagulant, anesthetic, analgesic and thrombolytic properties. Hirudo medicinalis is used as a medicinal leech. It belongs to phylum Annelida and class Clitellata. Hirudin and Calin restrains blood clotting. Hyaluronidase is a spreading factor. So, whatever the potential factors are there, it ensures the active substance spread in that local area. Eglin restrains digestive proteases. Anesthetic substances heads to pain insensitivity. So, by all these properties, Jalokas work in many indications. As I have referred, Jaloka Vacharana is one of the OPD based treatment where letting of the blood which has its own specific indications especially in Pitta Javikaras. More importantly, the Jalauka Vacharana is a painless procedure and it is given 
to the patients who are afraid of the instruments needles the minor minor rotis setups like that the timid people a female a small child a vriddha that is an old age person and a very sukumara very very sensitive people jaloka vacharana is adopted where the blood letting is planned so it is a very um, very simple procedure which can be adopted on the opd basis the main indications are acne vulgaris yavana pedica up to second degree acne vulgaris we can apply and in peripheral vascular conditions in the early stages of ischemia where the skin has lost the subcutaneous fat brittleness of nail slightly the feeble pulse in all these are the local ischemic factors which may further lead to ulcer in those conditions the jalouka is applied so that the micro circulation improves that is the idea behind janu sandhigata vata that is osteoarthritis of knee there for the management of pain lakshanika chikitsa it is a symptomatic treatment it can be adopted dushta vrana that is a non healing ulcers jalouka vacharana or leech therapy is plan to initiate the healing to remove the debris this can be done along with the kshara karma shotha inflammation conditions in case of conjunctivitis in case of migraine in many conditions of skin afflictions it is used so there are varieties of indications for jalouka vacharana so in this class i will briefly explain what are the main procedures involved in the jalouka vacharana a leech therapy one setup so the patient who is fit for jalouka that is he is fulfilling the classical indications he will be counseled that this whole procedure has to be explained in brief the patient should be ensured that there is no pain there is no allergic reaction like that he should be ensured and counseled and if possible we can show the photographs and videos also for the patient later after he gets gives his consent uh, verbally we have to take a informed consent in the written form also and patient should undergo compulsory hematological investigations like hp percentage clotting factor bleeding factor hbsag and hiv before the procedure to rule out any infections as well as the patient is fit for that is hb percentage should be above 11 in females at least above 10 and uh, ctbt should be in the within the normal limits then the patient is now ready now the jalokas the leech from the leech cabinet we have to take one or two as per the requirement the leeches has to be taken and it is placed in a container in that water is there fresh water in that jalokas or the leeches has to be kept if the jalouka is moving very very fast in that container that means the jalouka is ready to use if it is sitting at a quietly at a place so it is not active so we have to put some medical medicinal herbs in that so that activate the jalouka when the jalouka is activated it is ready for the use now in the operative stages the uh, jalouka is taken and the place where the patient's body it is selected priorly and jalouka is placed there so that it will bite the area so if the jalouka is not biting the area it is not it refusing then we have to put a drop of milk or a drop of blood there so that it readily starts biting if this also major fails we have to take a sterile needle and we have to prick the area where you are desiring for the jalouka vacharana then the jalouka bites there and starts its function if this also major sphere we have to discard the jalouka and take one one more jalouka so that three to four jalouka should be there in our bowl when the jalouka sticks there it fixes its suckers in both the sides anterior and posterior and we can see the actual pulsation at the neck place as i have told the jalouka is always there in the water so they require cold places so we have to cover the jalouka with the wet gauze should be covered throughout the procedure these are the few uh, photographs where a patient of eczema a patient of uh, acne vulgaris a patient of 
varicose veins, a patient of inflammation are treated with jalauka, it is applied. After the procedure, say 15 to 20 minutes, jalauka spontaneously leave that area. If during the uh, procedure, the doctor should be there always, he should observe the patient. If the patient complains of any pain and itching sensation, we have to remove the jaloka from that place. It is very rare, 1 to 2 percent of people, but still it is one of the, because there may be some allergic reactions the patient may be having. Then the, if the patient uh, is having some itching sensation, we have to remove and also after removal, the 20 minutes after that, the jalokas are taken in the kidney tray and uh, this haridra powder and the oil is applied to its mouth. Then jaloka is made to omit the blood what it has sucked. So the doctor holds or the therapist holds the jaloka in left hand, through the right hand, the slowly, regularly jaloka has to be milked out the, from its collected uh, blood, completely the blood has to be removed, vomited out. If the blood remains in the body of the jaloka, it will get a disease called as Indramada, which is irreparable, that means jaloka will die. So how to confirm that complete blood has been removed? After the vomiting, the doctor ensures again in a bowl that jaloka has to be placed and again it starts its motion means jaloka has completely omitted. Otherwise, if it stays there at some particular place, that means still the blood is there, again the repeat the procedure has to be done. After the jaloka is showing the ready movements, the jaloka has to be taken in a jar where the holes are done for the lid so that oxygenation, it cannot be kept in the jaloka cabinet now. So that jaloka has to be placed in a jar, plastic jar, glass jar, anything is okay. Then in that fresh water is there till three fourth of that and jaloka is kept in that and it is that bottle is labeled with the patient's name, age of the patient, date of the jaloka vacharana with the time that is placed and it is kept in the jaloka room. Later, if the patient requires the second, third, fourth sitting of the jaloka vacharana, the same jaloka can be used for that particular patient only. Jalokas once used cannot be used to another patient for the hygienic purposes. And this jaloka after fulfilling its work, that is four or five sittings it has worked, then if the treatment protocol of the patient is completed, that jaloka is kept in the used jaloka cabinet, which is no further used for the any other patient. Like that jaloka has to be treated after the procedure. The patient, as I have referred that, the patient will ooze the blood from that button area. Why? It, the jaloka contains anticoagulant factor. So there will be slight oozing of the blood. It should not be neglected. Sometimes we have observed that there will be enormous bleeding will start if the patient is immediately sent to home. So the, pa the doctor should ensure that completely the bleeding has stopped and he should apply Shatadauta Gruta, a medicine. It is applied and Pichu, that is gauze, has to be kept and tight bandaging has to be done to that site. Half an hour, the patient is observed, blood pressure and vital should be checked and he can be sent home and if required, the patient can be given another sitting after seven days. Seven days rest should be given to the Jalauka and the patient for the reapplication of the Jalauka child. So, how this Jalauka Vacharana or leech therapy act? It improves local blood circulation, it removes the stysis due to vasodilatation, thereby reducing the possibility of tissue necrosis. That is a very important uh, factor. Saliva of Jalauka contains many bioactive substances which have anticoagulant, anesthetic and antioxidant properties. There are many researches going on on this leech, medicinal leech. Some of them I have just given here. Leeches secrete peptides and proteins that work to prevent blood clots and stysis. Leeches can be used after microsurgeries, 
reconstructive surgeries and after amputations. So, to prevent the clot complication, thrombosis, swelling and uh, retention of fluid like that, so also it will increase the local blood circulation thereby rendering the healing fast. Leeches are used in diabetic patients against peripheral vascular complaints and also in diabetic wound care to initiate the healing. Leeches are used in infectious conditions and also in arthritis for analgesics actions. To sum up today's discussion, Jaloka Vacharana is the simple, non-painful, OPD based, cost effective treatment methodology of bloodletting. Jaloka Vacharana has various indications ranging from acne to local ischemia. Jalokas are extensively used in the symptomatic relief conditions like in osteoarthritis for the pain relief and itching sensation and to relieve the pain in varicose veins and ulcers. It initiates the healing in chronic non-healing ulcers. It can be used in conjunctivitis, migraines as a symptomatic reliever. These are my set of references of today. Thank you.